In this video, I'm going to cover how to deal with a reciprocal function when you're solving a trig equation. So taking a look at number 7 here, you can see really quickly that you have two different trig functions. You have sine and cosecant. Similar to the last set of questions, this is a problem because you can only work with one trig function. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to substitute in for that cosecant theta. And we know that cosecant of theta is equal to 1 divided by sine of theta. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in. So we're going to have 4 sine theta equals 3 times 1 divided by sine theta plus 1. So this 3 is being multiplied by the 1. So it's going to make more sense to rewrite it as a fraction. 3 divided by sine theta plus 1. The least common denominator is sine theta, so what we're going to do here is either one of two things. You can multiply by what factor is missing to get that least common denominator. Sine theta is the least common denominator. Um, or you can multiply through by the least common denominator of sine theta. And when you do that here, you're going to get 4 sine theta squared theta equals 3, because the sine theta and the sine theta here will simplify to 1, plus 1 times sine theta is sine theta. So this is quadratic. You want to get that quadratic term positive. And if we bring over the sine theta and the 3, and now we need numbers that multiply to negative 12, that add up to negative 1. So you go through and do your factoring by grouping. I'm going to skip a couple of steps here. So you're going to end up with 4 sine theta times sine theta minus plus. So you're going to end up with sine theta equals 3 divided by 4 and sine theta equals 1. And then you're going to do just what we've done in the past. Um, do inverse sine of 3 fourths in your calculator, you're going to get your reference angle and sine is positive in quadrants 1 and 2. So that'll be your reference angle will be your answer in quadrant 1. 180 minus that will be your answer in quadrant 2. Whenever you get negative 1, 0, or 1 for sine or cosine, that's a special value. You're going to use the unit circle. So the y value at 90 degrees is 1. So this is going to give you an additional answer of 90 degrees plus whatever these two answers are. 